Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello students welcome to commerce online classes in the previous class we studied about the meaning and components and main objectives of government budget so why the government budget is needed whether it is needed for the economy or not we discussed in brief manner let us see what chart of government budget through the chart i will explain you the government budget it is easy for you to know about the government budget through the chart it is very important for four marks thus you should concentrate here so government budget means already i said budget is nothing but it is a annual financial statement of a government it includes revenue and expenditure of the government a financial year starts from 1st april to 31st march till that we discussed so why the budget needed that everything we discuss what are the types of budget there are two types of budget i said one is revenue budget other one is capital budget it is also called as revenue account and capital account so let us see the through the chart what are the main components of government budget so government budget is mainly consist of two types revenue budget and capital budget first one is revenue budget and second one is capital budget as i said earlier revenue budget includes what are the things includes in the revenue budget yes revenue budget there are revenue and expenditure of the government it includes revenue and expenditure of the government revenue and expenditure of the government thus revenue budget is also called as revenue account so second main types of account is capital account or capital budget it includes assets and liabilities of the government assets and liabilities of the government assets and liabilities of the government budget are included in the capital budget of a country so revenue budget main components of this revenue budget are there are again two kinds or two types in the revenue budget first one is revenue receipts and second one is revenue expenditure revenue receipts and revenue expenditure what are these revenue receipts here revenue receipts includes tax revenue and non tax revenue revenue received from the tax sources either direct tax or indirect tax and non tax sources either may be non tax sources may be it may be include some uh, the interest receipts or some dividends profits fees penalties and all uh, cash grants everything included grant in aid everything included in the non tax revenue this charts once you see later once again we are going with the detailed manner so revenue receipts includes tax revenue and non tax revenue two types in revenue receipts one is tax revenue other one is non tax revenue tax revenue is directly you are paying the tax and receiving the revenue to the government thus this tax revenue non tax revenue received uh, means revenue which is not at all paid through the tax fees penalties or grant in aids everything included in the non tax revenue it is not the revenue not earned through the tax but revenue is there for the government it is through the other miscellaneous sources next one component of revenue budget is one is revenue receipts other one is revenue expenditure revenue expenditure revenue expenditure includes in revenue budget one is revenue receipt revenue received by the government in other sense it is going to invest this through the expenditure revenue expenditure there are two types planned expenditure and non planned expenditure one is by making some plans future plans government is going to construct like bridges roads government schools hospitals or providing any other kind of government services or facilities it will make some plan and 
it keeps some budget for that purpose is said to be the planned revenue expenditure how to invest revenue for the future purpose other one is non plan expenditure where the non plan expenditure comes sometimes now due to the covid 19 impacts we don't know if no, nobody is predicted like this happens in the uh, in this year or upcoming year what would be the result we don't know during the emergency some funds are released by the government is said to be the non planned expenditure without making any plans but also government should go ahead with the public in this situations emergency arises during the droughts floods earthquakes or during the landslides happens during this emergencies government should go in hand and make some government expenditure that is said to be the non planned expenditure without any proper play plans government is going to invest the money on the economy or on the public or on the public goods is said to be the non planned expenditure planned expenditure means government should making some plans this many hospital should be built in this year this many schools should be built in this year this many recruitment should be made for the uh, uh, banks hospitals schools colleges like that make some plans to utilizing the resources here no any plans during the emergencies government is going to make some expenditure is said to be the non plan expenditure thus revenue budget consists of two kinds one is revenue receipt other one is revenue expenditure revenue receipt means receipts received through the tax revenue and non tax revenue revenue expenditure means planned expenditure and non planned expenditure so this is about the revenue budget next let us see what are the components of capital budget capital budget is nothing but it consists of the assets and liabilities of the government budget so here capital receipts you are going to see receipts capital receipts are nothing but receipts received from the capital gains it may be profit or it may be no some inventory is may be included in this capital expenditure also as i said here in the revenue expenditure planned capital expenditure is also there non planned capital expenditure also there how this is planned capital expenditure and non planned expenditure doubt may arise with you so see here students planned expenditure is nothing but capital means you know that physical asset it is a uh, already i said in the last class what is the capital everything so it may be machineries buildings or it may be uh, any other physical assets so plan capital expenditure means for the next year this many uh, building should be constructed for the public purpose whether the library is required for the uh, any village or any of the public hospitals required doctors required that may be made some plans so with the plan they are going to arrange the capital equipments buildings needed constructing the buildings equipments and making arrangement of tools and machinery is required for the production purpose so all are included with the plan in the government budget they are going to invest the money or keep the money for that future purpose what is non plan capital expenditure sometimes now it is a best example covid 19 corona cases increasing during this time lack of beds in the hospital so government is unable to provide proper treatment to the patients lack of equipments ppe kits lack of medicines lack of capital goods beds or uh, this furnishes everything required so non planned expenditure government doesn't know in the budget whether they thought that corona will come and we should keep this much money for that nobody so during this uh, time they are going to purchase some assets from the outside or from anybody with the private sector or something without making any proper or pre plans government is going to incur the money on the capital that is said to be the non planned capital expenditure planned capital expenditure and non planned capital expenditure those this chart is very important for four mark students let us see once again government budget it includes two types revenue budget and capital budget revenue budget includes mainly two components again revenue receipts and revenue expenditure revenue receipts are nothing but tax revenue government is going to get the revenue through the 
tax either direct tax or indirect tax and non tax revenue it includes fees penalties or grant in aid by the any of the uh, this uh, countries or any of the remittances and next is revenue expenditure it includes planned revenue expenditure and non planned revenue expenditure and planned expenditure means i said making the plan through the budget and investing as usual on the basis of budgetary plans non planned expenditure means without making any plan government is going to invest during the emergencies that is said to be the non planned expenditure it may be during the droughts it may be during the earthquakes it may be during the some emergency diseases so it is said to be the components of revenue budget or revenue account so revenue budget includes revenue and expenditure of the government during the financial year it is always budget is prepared for the upcoming year not for the current year on the basis of current year we are going to prepare for the previous future year so upcoming year you are going to calculate while cal considering the budget capital budget includes capital receipts and capital expenditure capital receipts means receipts received by the any of the authority of the government and capital expenditure are nothing but planned expenditure and non planned capital expenditure planned capital expenditure means without uh, in the budget only they are going to keep some money to arrange some assets and uh, some liability matters non planned expenditure means during the emergency they are going to invest money on the capital expenditure so it mainly includes assets and liabilities of the government budget so government budget is nothing but it includes the revenue account as well as cap capital account it is also known as revenue budget and capital budget thus preparing the budget annual budget is very important for the government for the social and economic welfare of the economy so in the next class we are going to discuss about some remaining concepts of the government budget and the economy i said government budget means it is a financial statement of a year of a current year and it is preparing for the upcoming year let us see one example for understanding what is a budget in a simple manner very important for assignment and project oriented five marks see here budget on a monthly income and expenditure of a family given here so you are going to prepare this same you can refer no need of preparing once again so here i given it is a balanced budget of a family source of income for the family is father salary income from agriculture mother salary so father salary monthly income is received is 30000 income from agriculture is rupees 15000 income mother salary is 5000 and total income of family is 50000 let us see how these 50000 is going to balance with the expenditure next is monthly expenditure is there monthly expenditure on food items is 10000 investment on consumption bank loans that is payment made for bank loan is 15000 and petrol charges for monthly transaction uh, travel is 5000 electricity and phone bills it may be together with the 3000 rd for the savings purpose it is 2000 monthly education this whatever the fee or maybe the education expenditure is 10000 and others is 5000 so now calculate what would be the total income is 50000 total expenditure also while adding all these expenditures we are going to get the 50000 now what we are going to see here means it is a balanced budget of the economy when the revenue is income is equal to the expenditure revenue is equal to the expenditure is called as balanced budget of a economy this is the balanced budget of a one particular family very important for five marks same you can keep and you can write down and you should refer for the future purpose so so there are some types of budget there are some types of budget otherwise you can't understand this concept this is how it is balanced budget there are three types of budget see first one surplus budget second one deficit budget third one balanced budget 
So, what is this surplus budget, deficit budget, balance budget? In brief manner, I will show you in a very brief manner. Surplus budget is nothing but when the revenue is more than expenditure, revenue exceeds expenditure, income is more than the expenditure, your income is very high, your expenditure is very less, then it is said to be the surplus budget, surplus budget. What is deficit budget? Indian budget is said to be the deficit budget. Deficit means limited, shortage. So, when the revenue is less than expenditure, it means when the revenue is less than expenditure, it is said to be the deficit budget of the economy. Indian economy is always facing the problem of deficit budget. So, it is borrowing money from the other countries either for the, from the NABARD or IMF or any financial institutions. Third one is balanced budget that is when the revenue is equal to the expenditure of the country then it is said to be the balanced budget of a country. So, see here revenue is equal to the expenditure of the family thus we claim that it is a balanced budget of a country. Thus you should see the types of budget first one surplus second one deficit and third one balanced budget once again I will explain you in the next class. Thank you.